This is the perfect weapon for a stealth mission. It's the story of David and Goliath brought right up to date. No bigger than a beer can, it's compact and deadly. Once unleashed, it can disable tanks, vehicles, even an entire warship. Ideal for special operations. I'd like you to meet the Krakatoa. What this basically does, it becomes a giant copper bullet that slices through metal like a hot knife through butter. It's all business. The pint-sized Krakatoa can be detonated on land or underwater. It uses the same technology found in many big anti-armor weapons, but in a portable package. It's named after a deadly volcano, and I suspect it delivers a big bang. Okay, essentially what we have here is a stripped down Krakatoa. Some plastic, a little bit of copper. Looks like a plumber's kit. But wait till you see what the Krakatoa does. The Krakatoa is the latest invention from Alford Technologies. The genius behind this device is Dr. Sidney Alford, a world expert on explosive charges. The Krakatoa uses plastic explosive packed behind a metal cone to form a shaped charge. When it's detonated, the cone turns into a lethal jet of hot metal that penetrates through heavy armored steel plate. And get this. The Krakatoa is made from plastic, making it light okay. and easy to transport. And that's essential for a stealth operation. These uh, plastic modules are, are relatively shockproof. They're, you can jump with them, you can move with them. Oh, certainly. Certainly. It's easy to carry, but does it work? Our target is a one inch thick steel plate. It's typically the same thickness as the hull of a warship. But can this small device actually penetrate steel from 25 yards away? Behind this copper plate is about two pounds of plastic explosive. When it's fired off, this will basically become a projectile a slug, like a gun, that will penetrate through armor. Look at that. This little device has had a dramatic effect on the steel plate. If that was a tank, it could do all sorts of damage to the inside. Look at that. Effective shot. That's Not a very pretty one. It's a Not great shot. Look at that. <sighs> Clearly. That's probably about 80 pounds of the... steel right there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful hole. This is an inch of steel plate. That little copper that was about this thin, you have a slug, hot slug of copper, boom, right through there. But this, this is exactly what the Krakatoa does. It smashes steel. 